Yeah, and you you mention the fact that she wants to crush the royal family, and I have no doubt about that. That's completely right. But it must be increasingly crushing for Harry and Meghan to realise quite how much their plan has spectacularly failed. What? I mean, there was a time when they were doing huge damage to the royal family, Angela, with their revelations, but that really seems to be over now. And I don't know what more they can do, what more they can say. I know Meghan has made a few threats about her book and revealing the whole truth and that, but it feels like they had the opportunity. They tried to do it with the Oprah Winfrey interview. And actually now they're a busted flush. It's a case of diminishing returns. There just wasn't much hype or much interest in this interview and what they had to say. Come on now, doll. Well, I think that that's, um, I don't think Megan would ever think that because I think that she's just forever going to the top and she thinks she will make it. She's very, very determined and everything that she can do, like even saying, you know, I'm only on the first layer of talking about how I wanted to kill myself. You know, these are threats and they can really do harm. And I think Harry is also doing harm in a different way. Okay, I'm listening, you have my attention. In that he is, as he talked to that magazine, um, what's it called now? Um, da, 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 da. People. People, and, yes. yes. And he said, he said in there, or a friend or somebody else said for him, that um, his father won't speak to him and also he won't help him. And uh, it was put in a way that if I didn't know that that was complete nonsense, he would have um, got away with it. Uh, one of the reasons why the king doesn't answer his phone calls is that uh, you can't reach him directly. He doesn't have his own phone and it goes through aids before you can speak to him. Fact. And a time is decided in advance because of, you know, he's very busy. Um, but um, he has to look after himself. And I know that Harry will go on and demand things. He's not now asking nicely in a kind way, but, you know, he demands uh, from him and he wants still apologies for Meghan's treatment, whatever that was, I don't know. But um, when he demands for it, he he wants the, his father, he said his father is able to get him back the top rate of protection. And that's not true. No, he's the king not. can't do that. It's not. But, um, it's, like, is... it's like, does Harry not understand how it works? How? Hold on, bro. How? Because that would be Charles directly overruling a government decision, which yeah. is not something that the monarchy can do. Do you think, Angela, actually what Harry really wants is Charles to just pay for it himself out of his own pocket? Good question. No, I think this is to show that um, Charles is a nasty man. I think that's what it is. But he just can't do I it. I think he knows very well because he knows that it comes out of the taxpayers' money. Yeah. Um, and actually, there's some very, very good protectioners that are one step down from the one he wants. And that's because they don't have um, guns. And? Yes. And they know absolutely what's going on behind the curtains. But there's loads of them. Uh, loads of protection officers who are very good. Um, Princess Anne, Beatrice, Eugenie, they never have these top people. It's only the ones who work very, mm. very hard. The four, the king, the queen, and the heirs to the throne. They're the ones who work hard, and they get this privilege of having people looking after them 24-7. Nice. But if you're not in that foursome, you can get lots of help. And, and he doesn't want to do that. He's determined. He's going to the court for the third time to try oh, and get it. I know. And it's costing him a fortune. Uh, but it's not because he doesn't understand it. I think that this way, the way it's put, the way it's put in the magazine is that, gosh, isn't Charles mean? He's got so much money. Isn't he mean? But it's not that. It's a principle that he can't do. 
He can't do it. And the thing is, Angela, by the way, outside of the royal family, if Elon Musk or George Clooney or Mark Zuckerberg or Oprah Winfrey, you know, the world's most famous and rich people, if they come to the UK, they don't get this government funded security either. They have to fund it themselves. Fact. So Harry is no different to any other very high profile person that makes a huge amount of money and is able to pay for private security. So this has just become a ludicrous campaign. What do you mean by that? I did actually want to ask you about this People magazine piece, though, Angela, because it was so fascinating to me on loads of levels, given People magazine, we know it is the place that they use when they are wanting to put their propaganda out into the world. You remember that it's where Meghan Markle's friends first revealed the information about the letter to Thomas Markle and the details of the letter to Thomas Markle, her father, even though eventually she sued the mail on Sunday. What? Uh, for putting more information about the letter in the, into the public domain, even though she had actually put it out first to People magazine. But the point that I make it, Angela, is that this is one of their mouthpieces. If you read something in People magazine, you know usually that it has come directly from Harry and Meghan's camp. Okay. So what was interesting is that as well as the stuff about the fallout with Charles and the fact that Charles and Harry were no longer speaking, which, by the way, I just need to say, what an indictment on Harry that he's not speaking to his own father who is suffering from the worst type of cancer and undergoing chemotherapy. I think it says everything about Harry. Okay, I'm listening. You have my attention. First, though, what's so important about being independent is that I'm only ever going to tell you about products that I use truly believe in and think will improve your life. Okay. So that's why today I want to let you know about Verso. Now, I've entered my 40s, really trying to stay healthy. Haven't been very good over the past week, but let me tell you, I'm back on it today. Exercising, doing the 16-8 fast, but what's interesting, that will only get you so far. Here we go again. Scientists like David Sinclair have proven we can now reverse aging with interventions that go beyond healthy habits. So I wanted a product that would enhance everything that I was doing, but that was also backed up by solid evidence. So that's why I use Cellbeam by Verso every morning. It has scientifically proven ingredients that fight the effects of aging by increasing NAD plus levels. That's the stuff that powers every cell in your body. Boring. I've been taking the product for a number of months now, right at the start of my day. It has genuinely been transformative. Fasting's easier. I've lost fat. And Verso tell me that's actually due to its blood sugar regulation effects, which lead to fewer cravings. I'm sleeping better too. This product has taken years off me. I'd love you to experience the same thing. God, please, no! 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 A couple of important notes. Verso publishes third-party testing from each batch produced to guarantee you're getting what you what you paid for. And you don't have to pay that much today, actually, because if you head right now to buy.ver.so forward slash outspoken, you will save 15% on your first order. All you need to do is use the coupon code outspoken. I'll put the link in our YouTube and Rumble descriptions. <laughs> Okay. But to repeat, that's buy.ver.so forward slash outspoken. Use the coupon code outspoken.